All right, welcome back everybody. This is Danielle Hayden with Keller Williams Ann Arbor. I am the team leader of the brokerage and I am here with a very special guest today. Today we've got Martin Bauma of the Bauma Group Realtors with Keller Williams Ann Arbor. Martin and I are gonna embark on a little project which I'm super excited about. Every week, Martin and his team look at market statistics and they, in my opinion, are the local experts on where the market is currently. So Martin is gonna share that with us today, which I just think is a huge privilege and a blessing. So thank you so much, Martin, I appreciate that. No, absolutely. Let's do this. Martin, hi, how are you doing this Hi, morning? Danielle, how are you doing? Oh, good. Good, good. So Martin and I are gonna embark on a little project, which I'm super excited about. Every week, Martin and his team look at market statistics and they, in my opinion, are the local experts on where the market is currently. So Martin is gonna share that with us today, which I just think is a huge privilege and a blessing. So thank you so much, Martin, I appreciate that. No, absolutely. I mean, probably one of the things I wanna talk about um, as we get into the fall, we're starting to deal with uh, listings that have not sold, right? And that's always a real tough, uh, tough proposition for people to like, what do you do when you're not getting showings and these people wanna sell, it's priced properly, and how do you try to explain to the seller uh, what they need to do? And so one of the things I do, and I can share some of those graphs at, at some later uh, videos, but, um, I go in and I track all these different market niches every single month and we see, hey, what's active, what's pending, and what is sold. So for instance, the downtown condo market, I do a lot of business in the downtown condo market. We are getting literally almost no showings. And so when I have these properties that are priced right, uh, but they're not moving, I now can go to the seller and say, Mr. Seller, right now there are 40 condos for sale downtown competing with you. In the last quarter, and I know this for a fact, there were only six or seven sales in the whole third quarter, which is, you know, that's, 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 you know, very, very low. And so I'll simply say the bottom line is your price, right? But when you're seeing basically two sales a month in that downtown condo market, what are you going to do to make sure that you're going to be one of the next two sales in the coming month? And it does come down to price because if there's 40 units to pick from, you have to make sure you got to do something that so that that one or two buyers that comes along is going to pick your property. The number one thing you can do is make it very attractive and by lowering the price. And so when you explain things like that to a seller, they suddenly get it. And you're not beating, you know, they can't come at you and say, well, Martin, you told me this, you told me this, right? I said, I know I told you that. And there are comps to support that. However, we're in a situation now where we're going towards, you know, the fourth quarter and you want to be gone by the end of the, of the year, right? So that means between now and the end of the year, there are going to be probably four or five sales and there's 40 out there. So if you want to be one of those five, you have to bring your price to a point that will make it attractive. And so what it, when you explain to that, we have the graphs to show all this too, right? Um, and so when you have the visuals along with explaining how this works, um, it suddenly makes the seller understand what they have to do. And you're not the bad person. You know, you're being the professional explaining what's going on in the current market. Well, and I think the reality is clarity is power. And the way to get clear when you're buying and selling is looking at the market data. That's the information that literally right. drives the experts to know which way we're gonna pivot. And, um, you know, I know that there are lots of sellers out there. We'll market my property better, right? right? This day and age, everything syndicates. We can, we can position the property well by staging and presenting and, and making sure we have professional right. photographs. But really, right. the key to having an expert realtor is someone who knows how to look at the market data, interpret that, and then give their clients the best advice. You take that piece away and you're taking away all of the professional expertise that a realtor is. Correct. Right. Yeah. No, absolutely. And that's the thing. I always tell people, my job, when I list a property, my job is to tell them based on what I know at that point, this is the most likelihood of the price range that you're going to sell in, right? But I tell them the market goes like this. You know, there, there's not a, it's not this continuous trend one way or the other based on a whole bunch of different factors, supply and demand and then things like that. But uh, what's happened here is the demand side has really sort of slowed down significantly. And a couple of reasons being the pandemic. And the thing is the university um, sort of, you know, not hiring. There was a hiring freeze in June. And so you explain all those things to them. You know, a lot of older people are afraid of being in a high rise right now because of elevators and, and you know, and getting, um, um, you know, catching the virus. And a lot of parents didn't buy condos this year because they didn't know what was, you know, a lot of the downtown condos were purchased by parents of U of M students. A lot of them didn't buy because of the uncertainty. 
And so we explain all those factors, all of a sudden the dynamics of the market changes. Well, and just to clarify, right, the piece that we're talking about right now is specifically the downtown condo market. That's, downtown, that's yeah. where we're I seeing think, a dip in demand. Yeah, I'm just explaining one market niche, right? But see, I can do this for every market niche in Ann Arbor um, because of the way we track information. Okay, uh, I, I have a question for you. Yeah. Right now, this moment in time, do you feel that it's more or less important to look at the market than it has traditionally been for you and your team, and why? Oh, it is more important than ever. You know, keep in mind, the last 10 years have been pretty simple, right? We, I mean, the market did all the work. Uh, we now have to really be professionals, and we have to really, truly know the market. The information I just talked about, downtown market, there's no way Zillow and all these other sites can explain information in that format, right? Um, and so they just go, well, Zillow says my house is worth this or whatever. And I said, remember, I told you the comps from the past support that. But remember what I told you, you want to be gone by December, there's 40 houses to pick from. Based on historical data, there's going to be four or five sales. So there's going to be 35 units. No matter what happens, I can spend a million dollars on marketing. There will still be 35 units on the market at the end of December. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. And when you explain it that way, um, they understand it. Yeah, and I always, I always like the point that you made before I, when I was in a class on this with you. You said, you know, you never know what's going on behind the scenes, right? There could be three buyers looking in one neighborhood for a particular oh, property. Right, right, right. And there's multiple offers and multiple offers and multiple offers. Right. Well, now those three buyers have secured a home. The fourth house comes on the market and they think right. they can price sky high because of the multiple offers. But all those buyers are currently gone for the next few weeks. So it's the importance of uh, being responsive, right, in those first couple weeks of the listing as well. Right. And that's a whole other segment, the whole thing of really knowing what's happened, right? I always do my little finger demonstrations uh, explaining supply and demand. And because sometimes you'll have these, that's a whole different, we can talk about that another time. It's a whole 15 minute conversation, but. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll no. have to cover that next week. Yes. Okay, really quick, I know you've got an appointment to go to and customers always come first. What, uh, what little tidbits can you leave us with today about where the market is today, according to your analysis? Right now, if you are under 500 and you're priced well and it and it's, um, uh, shows well, it's going to sell within the first week. And if your property does not sell in the first week, you're going to be sitting. Uh, it's a really weird market. We, we have a, a bifurcated market where that first couple of days to a week, people are afraid everyone really likes it, right? But the minute it sits for a week or so or 10 days, you, uh, you need to make adjustments and you need to do it fast because then they, they just sit. I mean, it's, it's a very interesting market how quickly that happens. Yeah, absolutely. And I just, just having sold my house, uh, I experienced the same thing. I wasn't at that price point, but I listed the home 10 days, no offers, dipped it immediately by $10,000, got multiple offers and I got $5,000 above asking. Right, so right. You, you've got to be responsive right now. Oh, yeah. It's not a time to, to play around yeah. with your yeah, home. You can't wait a month to give data. You know, you, you have to literally say, if I put a house on the market in the first week, we don't have an offer to say, hey, you guys, we have to do something, right? So. Yeah. All right, Martin, how can people get a hold of you if they want an expert opinion on the value of their home? They can call me on my cell, 734-260-9444. All right. Thanks so much, Martin. I wish you and your team all the best. Uh, you guys have always come from contribution, and I really appreciate what you do for the local industry, informing not only consumers, but other agents as well as how to be the best. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Danielle. Appreciate it. Right. Have a great day. Good luck. Okay, you too. Bye-bye.